so today i am starting a new series <clears throat> where i will be creating this uh, cards version 1.0 uh, from triple so we will be creating all these type of cards and i will be eventually putting it on github so that anyone can use it it's a uh, these are general type of cards which can be used anywhere so later on may i may be thinking of creating a library of out of it so for today we are taking this first one and uh, for that i have already uh, actually uh, taken the assets so this is my paid image which is shown here it's a th placeholder type of thing and this is the profile pic which will be shown here okay and i have also collected the colors gray black a uh, little purple and some greenish color so it's stored in colors.dart and also uh, let me uh, show you uh, this is purple color this is light gray color why this color will be used for i guess the border of one hour okay and uh, there is a gray color which will be used for this text black color will be used for this type of text and this text and uh, brown uh, green will be used for this and brown is used for i guess um it's uh, it's not used uh, right now and we will see where, where where it is used also i have created the text styles for all the uh, whatever text we need right now so naming convention is very easy it's bold so weight is 600 it's black color is black okay let me remove this bold black text style then normal gray text style no, so bold black large text text style because it's 16 and uh, bold green large so for 16 we are considering large for 14 we are considering normal as well as uh, not providing anything normal is the weight of the font plus for this uh, normal as well it's uh, no weight is given so normal black is small so this is small is used for 12 okay and 14 is our uh, normal size so uh, then uh, we will start in the main dot dart uh, we have this uh, run app where we have called cards hub and in this cards hub i just created a stateless widget it is containing material app and uh, it this output of this is uh, simply like uh, a default like it, this is the output so here i will be uh, giving a, a a card that i will create so let's name that card as uh, paid card because uh, this card is uh, uh, a paid card that's why or we can call this is also a paid card so we will rename this uh, maybe later so these are different type of uh, paid versions or paid, uh, card, paid card versions so let's directly start stateless widget So you will uh, basically learn uh, a lot many things about rows and containers because uh, this these cards are nothing but uh, very much uh, can be laid out in terms of rows and columns. So uh, let's talk about this. So uh, it will be first a uh, stack where this paid image will be at the back end side and the rest all the things will be in the front. Okay. Then we will be having this uh, row which will have two entries and uh, this itself will ho have a uh, uh, sorry uh, this will uh, this will be a, a column and uh, yeah so this will be a column where uh, these two will be uh, again in the row and uh, this will be the second element of the column similarly uh, this this line will be same uh, very much similar to this and this will be another uh, row in the uh, this hierarchy okay single row with center element so this will have a text and the image so let's start building this thing first so let me get back to the editor so this is a material and uh, let us uh, first uh, give elevation of four and uh, also color as white right so and uh, border radius can be be it's four yeah okay so first of all let's see how it looks so here also we need to do something we need to take a i would say we would we will be take, wrapping this inside a center widget and child will be our container with a padding of 16 so that uh, the card is uh, properly visible on all the edges and we can uh, see the curves of the material card okay 
so child will be paid card let's import this and let's uh, run it and see how it looks so there is no card here by because uh, definitely we don't have any uh, child here so let's first take a container and height of uh, maybe 200 it is just to show you uh, how the card will be shown so this is how the card will be shown now we don't need this exactly we just need to put the content here okay so uh, as you can see uh, everything is in a column so let's take a column first okay and children will be um, basically uh, see um, this complete is a column this is the first child okay we will add this image later so this is the first child now this first child is again a row so our first uh, child will be row here okay and then uh, again uh, this row has two elements so and uh, the size of this uh, axis is main uh, is uh, max so we will actually give uh, main axis size dot max here and then uh, children will come so this is again a column so let's take the column for that then again children and I guess uh, the size will be okay it will be cross oh wait we will uh, take it later now uh, we need to add these to text uh, I will add it later uh, so this is a column we, we have completed this uh, or let me just uh, put a hard coded text okay so right now we can anyways I will be showing you how you can convert the time as well so I will not leave it here and uh, style as you know we have already created so let's import first and it's in uh, colors dot dart uh, naming convention is uh, bad here because uh, it's not containing colors it is containing styles as well so you can put theme so let us do it right now here itself themes okay so this is the themes defined and let's get back to our paid card so style will be our black related to something black okay it will be bold black large text style let's try this if this is the one okay sorry right so i guess there is some issue when i imported it so let's take the help of the editor and uh, yeah this is the first text and similarly we will be having a second text so i completely copied it and we will write monday august 19 monday august 19 here yeah and yeah is done so it will be grayish so let's start it with gray so normal gray text style now uh, let me check it uh, by running how it looks exactly so as you can see it has this uh, com it has taken complete size so we don't want this uh, so our column should have a size of uh, main axis dot size min okay so now it will take the size of exactly this thing now uh, you can see that uh, it is connected to the edges so let's add some padding okay so padding can be simply we can take 16 everywhere so it looks nice here let's uh, add the image here so how it can be done it's simple uh, uh, okay so where we are where we have created a column row and yeah so row will have two children the second children the second child will be okay so for the for this column okay sorry for this row column and yeah now we have to add a clip oval or, or let's uh, let me show you what this circle avatar will do okay so in the circle avatar we can just simply take image asset and uh, we have to add pubspec.ml we have to add assets here i already added that and uh, now we have to give the path assets dot uh, profile pick dot jpg okay and uh, it has some error maybe something I have missed so okay it I think has an icon something image okay it's a background image let me child okay so it's a child okay so let's take child here and now uh, we can uh, uh, maybe we can we don't have it so let's run it how it looks you see um, this is the issue with this uh, I don't know why this comes but uh, whenever I am uh, trying to uh, let me do it box fit dot contain so it again doesn't reflect so it should be rounded so what I will do I will wrap this in clip oval okay and uh, yeah 
and I have to give the size of uh, this so height can be 45 and width also can be 45 right let's format it and uh, yeah let's see so now you can see it has come but uh, there is still some some issue so we can use cover here which actually makes a circle nice circle so I can show you how the circle is with the bigger image so that you get the idea that it's a pure circle and now 45 will be the perfect size for this uh, card okay now uh, we are completed with this but uh, these two are stuck together so what we have to do we have to we actually to, okay so we can do one two things we can directly add a spacer here so that there is a empty space in between both these two so let me show you how it works in flutter inspector okay I click here and you can see the row which is called here then you will see a column which is this and then you can see the spacer which is taking complete space in between uh, clip oval and the column so spacer's job is to actually uh, take up the space in between two widgets okay yeah, so it's actually uh, it's an expandable widget uh, which uh, takes everything so now this is completed uh, so uh, next uh, we will be adding a I guess so we will be adding a divider here uh, for the uh, this line so divider actually has default height of 16 so we will uh, go with this and let's run it and let's check it so this line has come but now see the issue is uh, this line is very much okay let me for the sake of this video let me make it little bit darker it is not the correct thing but let me so now you can see let me make it black itself I will change it later so now see this uh, padding is applied to this also so what we can do uh, I guess padding should not be applied to the whole content so let's remove it from here add it to the row okay and uh, yeah so this will be applied to only this particular row as you can see this is applied here now uh, there is some issue okay so we should actually take only and top will be 16 bottom will be 8 because you know uh, this divider already has 16 so this 16 is added here okay I will show you just in a moment so bottom can be 0 okay and for uh, I will say for left it's 16 for right it's 16 right so let's run it now you can see it's perfect here uh, so I was talking about this divider see this divider has already 16 height that's why so let's uh, move forward now what I can do is um, okay now let's add another row uh, which will have uh, this thing only uh, this uh, complete thing so let's copy it okay so this row will be copied completely row can be copied and uh, the text we can change it and there is no issue for that so a text will be Alexander Anderson okay and then women's cut so okay fine now you might be wondering why I am doing this because there is a plan I will be not taking it as hardest hard coded string I will be actually creating a constructor for paid card where I will pass in the values and these values will be rendered uh, depending on whatever value is given okay so we will do it later that's not an issue now okay let's have a look at this there is nothing extra we have done so this has come here now you can see this uh, actually and even even in that scenario this will also work very bad so if I uh, you can see this is in center right so first of all let's add padding so that it's in symmetry and uh, let's go with this padding itself okay okay constant is required no issues it's not required it's a good practice to add so let's add here so when you learn something you should apply it everywhere so that's that's what i'm doing here so it's uh, right now here now there's 16 actually top we don't need so because we already have 8 so let's take 8 or I think 8 is also not needed let's take 8 okay and for bottom it will be again a divider no issue so let's run it okay so this is done now um, what is happening here is uh, it is too much okay now let's take uh, talk about this uh, I guess it's a, a column so 
we have to actually give a cross axis alignment for this and it should be start so as you can see this uh, this is cross axis and this is main axis so i have given cross axis alignment it is start so it will start from here similarly this thing will this issue will come here as well when you increase the text so ideally you should add cross axis alignment dot start here as well and yeah that's on it and it works fine so this is the case we have done this now uh, you can also see that uh, there is a uh, one hour box here so let's uh, uh, code it okay mm, so we are in this uh, clip oval thing we okay we also don't need this but instead of that let's add um, this is a row so let's wrap it in a row and the second child will be our I guess it's a decorated box so let me add it so it's a container with a decorated okay with a decoration so okay it can be only one so this is the border of that box and uh, the border can be So it's a grayish color so I will take it gray and uh, yeah and the child is for this container it's one R so it's a text fine and the style is normal gray text style so it is like this and uh, one more thing uh, okay let's run so this has come but it, the gap is very less so add a sized box with a width of 5 and it has got some space now uh, there is issue that uh, it is actually a touch with the border so let's add some padding and this time it will be only symmetrical and horizontal it will be 4 I guess and vertical it can be only 1 just for the sake of some empty space okay so it looks nice now in the right side we have something uh, like uh, not we don't have clip oval so we will just use the text here okay and uh, this text can be now again okay let's this is the time to add the formatter okay so we will be using a number format from intl uh, library so let's put it here and uh, run the flutter packages get if it doesn't show up you can directly write flutter packages get okay spelling mistake so this is this will be very fast and now we will have a variable number format and before that okay so this will be a format number format dot let's first import it so we will oh one second okay ideal okay so number format dot uh, simple currency and this is the format now we will be actually passing the text here so format dot format it will take a number which is 80.00 and uh, yeah this will be done uh, next we can give the style so style will be purple i guess so normal purple text style let's see what is the output of this and you can see it has come here now uh, in this column let's um, I guess we are here okay so let's add a divider where okay here so this is the divider again let's see how this impacts okay so it has come let's add the color so that it's visible for you guys okay it's looking fine and now uh, we this is the time to add uh, another row oh it's not over so basically uh, you know uh, something is there below this as well so we cannot add directly uh, divider so before that we have to add another row or something like another uh, text so let me add it okay so um, okay directly adding the text widget here which will be plus two products it's in capital or small okay it's in capital and style will be again purple so fine let's run it 
so it looks like this now we have to take it at the left hand side so uh, for that again this column uh, should have uh, actually this column should have cross axis alignment the topmost column should have this so this will be aligned here and we can add a padding so I guess uh, this should have only horizontal okay horizontal padding so that it's symmetrical from both the sides if this text gets extended to something like this it actually has some padding on the both hand sides so okay so this is fine we are done with this but there is something else to it so we should not be doing like this maybe because uh, okay uh, we can do one thing we can add a sized box with height of 8 so that there is a space on top of this plus 2 products okay so it looks uh, almost similar uh, okay so it looks similar uh, one thing we can do is uh, we can add some bold here so in this normal we can give the font weight weight font weight dot or maybe this only so let's take a look at that okay so not reflecting some issue okay it's reflecting now so let's reduce it okay this is fine i guess so it's weight 600 so now this it doesn't become normal it's uh, it has become bold so let's uh, rename it okay fine now um, this is used here this divider is done after the divider we have to add a row okay and uh, it will have two children first will be the text so the text here this will be schedule again okay i think it will be in uppercase so what i remember from this okay it's in uppercase so and the style will be something greenish i have bold green large text style so okay this is done then we can have icon so it will be icons dot uh, right arrow okay fine and color will be green I guess this is the same color as of this so it will work fine now uh, let's uh, run it it looks like this okay uh, what we have to do is we actually have to have some uh, this this should be in center so what we will do uh, we will actually uh, make the main axis alignment as center and it has come in center now uh, what we can do uh, okay now uh okay fine so let's add some padding here padding can be only vertical we need so or everything uh, can be 16 there is not an issue but this is okay but this is not okay so let's take it 8 and here it's 16 extra so what we can do is we can actually take this as 0 and this is reduced now the issue is it has come this also has reduced so we can just add a sized box uh, below this and we will be back in the shape so this is working nice now what we can do is um, um, we have to add the image here so where it will be added so as per me um, it's actually on hold of this so let's uh, put everything in the stack wrap with a new widget so stack will take and uh, children my first child will be this whole column which will be till here let's cut it and put it here okay so i guess it will be fine now let's add the child okay so uh, this will be a simple uh, maybe it's just a uh, a simple let's take a position widget first so that we can put our image here and image will be a container let's take it in a container or container yeah why container because we need to fade the image as well so we will be using decoration of the container here okay and uh, in the decoration we can have decoration image okay and here we will have image dot asset fine or uh, not the image dot asset it will be asset image okay and it will be assets dot profile no, sorry fade dot jpg fine and here we can add color filter so let me just format it so that you can understand it well and uh, some issue decoration image can't be assigned to this so we have to take actually okay 
we have to take box decoration first and then inside that it will be image and now this will be nice now um, let's add color filter so color filter will be like this color filter dot okay uh, dot mode and uh, for this two two things are needed one is the color with uh, some opacity okay uh, let me not add this first I want to show you the use of actual use of this and this position so what will be the position of the image in context with this whole, whole card so it's something from bottom okay it's something from bottom and something from right so these two things we will be taking it's bottom 30 and uh, right it's also 30 let's take it like that and uh, the width can be because you need to have two parameters out of three left right width so we will have to take it let's take this width and let's run it how it is it's not shown here there is definitely some error then okay it's not an error as well so okay maybe we need to provide color filter or let us hot restart it because we are using our image so it might be something let's dig it around okay so we are in this material then stack okay so it has come here not an issue so let me okay fine so it should be from bottom it can be mm, I don't know maybe the height yeah so this height also matters okay so it has come here so it has come pretty nice now let's uh, take it more bottom okay so it can be five yep so this looks nice but again you can see there is some uh, it is coming on this so what we can a uh, little hack here is we can actually wrap it inside a container and that container will have a color of color struct white so that it comes on top of that and it is hidden okay so I guess this is good here and again getting back to that now add the color filter so it's not faded right so color dot black dot op with opacity 0 0.2 and blend mode can be like this one DST at all okay let's run it and now you can see this is faded I think there is uh, it is too much opaque so this will be fine but I take it this way from right it should be 60 so that 80 is completely visible okay it should be 70 so I guess this is almost looking like this but there are many spaces here okay so let's work on the space part and this video will be over then and uh, so there is a little bit more space here so I guess uh, let's uh, make it very uh, common everywhere okay or uh, so it's top 16 left 16 right 16 we don't have anything bottom because this divider has something already and uh, maybe just now it's time to remove this co color and this top this top should be something like 8 so similarly this should be 16 then so sized box can be 16 okay it looks good now uh, okay and again this should be 16 so this card is okay this can be 8 because it's too much difference from here and here we need to work I guess so this can be definitely 12 it looks nice now okay so I guess font sizes can be changed anytime so that's the whole concept behind creating this card now let me show you uh, how dynamic we can make it so let's do it here here as well in this card okay so let's take uh, what all fields we have actually so we actually have uh, we will need everything right so make them compulsory now we will have uh, this time Monday August 19 so yeah Monday August uh, so it's a uh, duration okay it's time this dot date this dot name this dot uh, type of service maybe because women's cut is type of service this dot duration and uh, this dot number of products and this dot cost so yeah I think it, this is it uh, now let's add everything uh, right now let's take everything as a string okay because uh, we should not waste time in this we are just doing the UI and uh, I think you have got fair bit idea of what uh, we are doing here 
and how we have created the UI and please let me know in the comment section that if you want to you want a specific type of uh, card to be uh, uh, for that uh, which I can create the video so please let me know in the comment sections okay so it should be final okay and uh, also I will be creating all of these might not be the case that I, all of the tutorials will come out but uh, definitely I will be putting it in all github so do not forget to check the github link and the dribble link as well so that you can tell me which card you want next okay um, yeah so okay let's do it here and uh, before that let's cut it put the time here and use it here so and one more thing we would like to actually be more specific with this we would like to have everything so let's add time here okay so how easy it will be and how customizable this card will be so this is the thing that i wanted to achieve now let's talk about date so this will be the date and same thing we can add here if you want you can close the video but i would uh, take one or two minutes more and you can uh, good to go with the video right so uh, guys uh, if you're liking the content please hit the like button and uh, also subscribe to my channel uh, please uh, also hit the bell icon so that you are never missing the content which I am putting okay so okay fine next in the chance is duration number of products and cost so this is number of products cost is something 80 okay so this is not a string or double simply okay and last and but not the least it can be the duration let's run it for the last time okay so this is the end of the video guys and enjoy flutter please uh, look at the other videos of the channel and that's it from today 